Hello everybody, this is my full guide on how to fix a Steam VR 108 error for the PC. Try not to skip any steps. Okay, the first thing you want to do is unplug the v, uh, VR headset, inspect all the cables for damage, wear, or loose connections, ensure all the cables are firmly connected, and that the USB ports are 3.0 or 3.1. So all USB ports are not created equal. If they are earlier than 3.0, they will not work. My computer uh, has a couple of VR uh, USB ports that simply do not work with VR, and my computer is new. So that is something that you want to try. Now, if you've done that and you're sure that the, uh, the cables are all working fine, of course, restart your VR and your PC. And of course, update your graphics driver. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, but you should know how to do it. If you don't, uh, go to the NVIDIA app, drivers, and update the graphics driver. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you've done all of that. The next thing you want to do is go into Steam VR. Open Steam, I should say. Uh, find Steam VR in your library. Right click on it. Go to properties, go to beta. And from here, you can roll back the Steam VR to a previous release. This is useful if it was working and it no longer is working. Alternatively, you can also uh, use the beta release to see if that fixes the issue. I would not necessarily recommend this. This does come with its own set of problems, of course. Uh, but give it a try and maybe that will fix the issue. Okay, let's open Steam VR and try a couple of different things. So launch Steam VR. Now when we're in Steam VR, click on the three little bars here, click on the developer button, and then click on developer settings. From here, scroll down, and then you'll see remove all Steam VR US devices. So what you wanna do is click on this and physically unplug your Steam VR device wait for 30 seconds, reconnect it, and wait for Windows to reinstall the drivers, and then try it to see if this fixes the issue. What you also want to do is, while you're here, if that didn't fix the issue, enable direct display mode. So what is direct display mode? This basically forces uh, Windows to, to see this as a VR headset for Steam VR and not as an external monitor, which does seem to affect some people. Okay, now that you've done that, you want to disable power management in Windows. So go to start, go to device manager. From here, you want to expand universal serial bus controllers. And you'll see something like USB root hub. Right click on it, go to properties. From here, go to power management, and uh, you want to unclick this. Allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. Okay, by the way, uh, if you see your VR headset under USB, it also might be under human interface devices depending on your VR headset. You want uh, to do the same thing, right click, properties, power management, and turn this off. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to installed apps. This is slightly different on Windows 10 or earlier versions of Windows, but basically you want to uninstall Microsoft Visual C++. All of these, basically, and reinstall them. Uh, just download them, Google them from, from the official website. I'm sure the one on the top will be the newest one. This seems to fix this issue for some people on Reddit. I haven't tried it myself, but hey, it worked for them. It might work for you. The next thing you want to do is verify integrity of Steam VR files. So go back to Steam, right click on Steam VR, go to properties, go to installed files, click on verify integrity of tool files and wait for it to finish. After you've done that, you want to of course check for the base station interference. Make sure they are powered correctly, they're not obstructed, there's no mirrors or reflected services that interfere with tracking. And after you've confirmed that, you want to modify your BIOS settings. So how do you do that? Usually you have to hold down F2, delete, or F12 while booting. Uh, there should be, depending on your BIOS, some kind of settings related to USB. So uh, when you do that, look for anything to enable 3.0, USB support, as I said earlier, they need to be 3.0 or 
or 3.1 to support most VR headsets and disable legacy USB support. This seems to interfere with VR headsets for some reason. Okay. Also, by the way, while you're at it, uh, you want to update the BIOS. This does, did fix it for some people. Again, um, if your computer is a couple of years old, they might not even be uh, updated to the current USB 3.0 settings, in which case the VR will simply not run and the BIOS does not update itself. That is something you need to do. Uh, you need to do. Okay, now let's go run this in compatibility mode. So open file explorer, go to C program files 86 for me. Scroll down and see you see Steam, Steam apps, common. You should see Steam VR bin, and then you'll see VR server. I'm sorry, from here, Win64, if you're on a Windows 64 system. And from here, you should see a software called VR server. Here it is, you want to right click on this and say properties and then from here go to compatibility tab and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 or Windows 8. Hit apply, hit OK and try to run it. Um, this sounds weird but this does fix the issue for some people even if they're on newer version of Windows. Okay. Next thing you might want to try, allow Steam VR through the firewall. So open Windows Security. Go to Firewall and Network Protection. You want to turn off your public network. Turn off the Microsoft Defender Firewall to see if that is uh, interfering. The next thing you want to do is reset system configuration. So here, go to Search, MS Config. Go to services, click on hide all Microsoft services and click on disable all, apply and restart your PC and see if that fixes the issue. The last thing I would recommend is a software called exit lag. This software is amazing. Basically this is software that helps your, uh, your ping and it helps with connecting to a lot of different things. This may or may not help your Steam VR when it's not connecting to Steam, but it will definitely help your overall experience when running with Steam or other games in general. I have it connected to my Steam. And when I started using it, I was getting 30 ping and that got reduced to 10 ping. Basically, it uses VPN to find servers that are closest to where you live. It is very good. It is three free for the first three days. You can see I have Steam under my connections right now. Right now it's connected to the Tokyo route. And right now here you can see my connection to Steam is five. Yes, five ping. It is great when I play games. I highly recommend it. I'm putting a link to this in the video description below. If this video helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it and it helps the traction. If it didn't help you, leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.